Fish! Fish! He's got fish! That's it. That's it. Oh, he's, uh, he's behind you. Oh, it is a good one, dude. Fish on the fly. Fish on the fly. Yeah! If that ain't the happiest tiny guy I've ever seen in my whole life right there, uh-huh. And two happy boys. We got three happy boys on this episode. Here at Addicted Fishing. We got an unloaded cooler. These guys are slacking on me. It's time to go catch a big winter steelhead, everybody. We've been working hard at this. These boys have never caught a fish over 40 inches. I have only gotten one over 40 inches, and today is the day that we probably have the best chance we've ever had. Let's go see if giants exist. What do you guys think? We traveled a long way to get here. We're a long ways from home in the land of the lost. Let's go catch some fish. Come on, boys, get him in there. Oh, that's an anchor falling. What the heck? Oh my God, this is beautiful. Okay, I'm just gonna drop it anyway. Yeah, I mean, what, but... What are we really talking about yeah. here? Okay, the sun has popped out. It's starting to be a beautiful day and we're down to one of our first holes. Hayden just, uh, we, we were too excited to even film you guys to begin with because look at the frickin' river. Uh, and I didn't record the first couple casts and Hayden got absolutely drained and didn't, uh, definitely didn't again. But he said I screamed so loud that it scared him and he set the hook too hard and totally botched it. Totally botched it. It was, it ate it already. It was really, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Well, he blew it. On to the next hole. Okay, it's fly time. I'm getting fly out here. A lot of you probably don't care. I do. Look at how good this fly looks. You guys can kind of see it out there. Look, there it is. Look how good it looks. Hey, everyone, come see how good I look. Hayden, Hayden has one. Hayden has a big one. We knew there was going to be a fish here. I hopped out and fly fished it. He made one of his home here. He used one of his homemade lures, basically a piece of foam. It's a really cool lure. We'll show you here in a second, but Hayden's got one. <laughs> well, I was talking through this one. You definitely didn't know you had a fish, right? No, I did. <laughs> oh yeah, right. <laughs> this is his first fish drift fishing ever. And the way they hit these, oh, it's a good one too. Beautiful fish, big jump. The way you can usually tell, um, especially on lures like these, is they grab them and they keep swimming. So sometimes they yank the rod hard. Other times they just pick it up and start swimming. And that fish did it. Swam halfway to the boat. Hayden was just reeling and then it woke up. And now it's going. Going. Okay, he's coming on the inside here. You good? So cool getting to experience that for the first time with somebody. And then hopefully this isn't Colt's first time using his net. <laughs> okay, here he comes. He's coming. It's a good one. Yep, yep, just about, almost, almost. One big flip. Oh, oh, good job, Colt. Good job, Colt. Yee-hoo! That was a nice one. Brother! Pretty. Wow. Oh, God, that's pretty. What a good looking fish. Nice job, brother. Look at big old seal mark on it from back in the day. This is a repeat spawner, you guys. So this fish has been back and forth to the ocean a couple of times. I'll show you more how we can tell here in just a second, but right there, brother. Well done. Little made the mistake to see the fish. Oh, he wants to go to the log. Can't go to the log. It's deep over here. He's like, I'm going back in the boat. There it is. Nice flipping fish, buddy. You guys can see here, this scar right here. That's from way back in the day. That fish has been up in the river. This is probably its second or third time spawning. So it's really neat to see wild fish in their habitat that are actually doing really well. Look at that dorsal fin. What a thing of beauty. Oh, yep, yeah, there's kicking gravel already. This big buck's been here fighting for a while. All right, later, buddy. You're badass. Right in the little feet. Poor kid. Poor kid, what made you jump in the water? This looks really cold in here. It's colder in here. Oh, he says, pick me up, pick me up. Heck yeah, dude, give me some. Mission accomplished. Okay, well, we hurried down the river, a boat was coming, and uh, we were had bad etiquette. We pulled the anchor and ran, because we wanted to get down to some areas here uh, where we stood a chance of getting another big fish. We got a couple more to get. Colt still needs one, I still need one. And we haven't seen that giant giant yet this year, so I'm excited for what we have left. We have a lot of river left, it's still early. I think it'll happen. I'm getting kind of munchy though, how about you guys? Gonna munch on some grindage, boys. Ooh, itchy trigger finger over there. Itchy trigger finger. This looks good. It just got hamsky wamsky, dude. That looked good. I'm not that deep. I'm about a foot above my bobber. We'll see. Moment of truth. Um, did not do it again, boys. Did 
not do it again. Shoot. Dang it. Okay, yeah, Colt's turn. Get him Smolt. Get him Colt. Um, Get him Smolt. Oh, we're gonna start calling him Smolt. What do you guys think of that nickname for Colt? It's hey Smolt. <laughs> it's fishy. It's really fishy. We're gonna start calling you Jack and him Smolt. Jack from Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh -huh. <laughs> Same thing, I just, we just yelled at him, said get that damn thing in there. Get that homemade secret lure in there. And now he's got another one. This is pretty scary, guys. We need to get him around us, down below. Oh, it's a chromesicle. It's a chromesicle, dude. Chromesicle, dude. It is way too deep, but I want the fish to get below us. I'll pull anchor, slide down river. We'll uh, relocate the fish. We'll give him a new locale, maybe a new area code, and then we'll land the darn thing. Actually, net it from the boat like a man. Okay, net it from the boat it. like a man, Colt. Okay, we're gonna show you guys how this is done. This is not gonna be easy. It really comes down to the to the angler. Tip to the left and down. Tip to the left and down. There you go. Right yeah, I'll just walk him right through the log. Maybe not by that giant sheet of sheet metal, um, but just keep walking until he goes above the the boat, and then Colt, you're gonna lay it out on the side just like that, and he's gonna do the old swoopy woopy into the net. Stuck. Oh, it, it is. Yeah. You let a little line out. Is he still on there? Yeah, let's let him swim around. He'll get you unstuck. Oh, I see uh, something. I don't, I don't know what I can see. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there, there he is. He's there. You're oh, God. He was just sitting there the whole time. This is chaos. The log underneath this guy. Okay. Yeah. So do we just need to get like over to that side? Oh, now we got him. We got him now, boys. We got him now. Okay, here we go. Walking the dog, walking the dog, yep. Keep walking him. Waka waka. Left side, further left. Walk him all the way up next to the boat. Yep. Oh, well, he's trying to leave, isn't he? He is leaving now. Oh, wow. We almost died in six inches of water. <laughs> That's what we made it through. This is what's happening. Well done, boys. Good teamwork. Yep, there we go. Bring him all the way to the boat and then lift him up. Straight, wait, wait for it. Now up and over to him, right there we go, yep. That's what we're talking about. That's what we're talking about. Colt, don't move. There we go. Oh, nice, boys! That one wasn't coming off, either. <laughs> buttoned up, huh? He's a buttoned up buck. Heck yeah, everybody, fish number two of the day. That feels good. That feels real good. Nice job, brother Hayden. That is a little chromesicle, man. Pretty much identical, just a female to the last one. Look at that chunker of a girl. She's got a joke book in the back of her pocket, but she wasn't joking about eating this thing. The ugliest clown thing you've ever seen. We found a new secret lure, everybody. And it's working out to me. Head, head up a little bit more. Right there, down in the water, right there. Photos approved it. He did it again. A nice job. Look at how blue her mouth is in there. You guys can see that. Cool fish, man. She is ready to pop, too. At least fish this time of year. Yeah. It's getting later and later in the season. Uh, and so these fish are starting, there's a spring run of steelhead a lot of, in a lot of places where they start to come in and they'll spawn within days of being in the fresh water. So that one, I cannot say it had more than a couple more days in her before she, she went and did her job up in the gravel and headed back out to the ocean. That's why these wild steelhead are so protected. That's why they're so special is because like you saw in the last fish Hayden caught, that thing has been back and forth to the ocean multiple times. And for multiple years, that could have been a five, six year old fish. Really cool to see. Let's see if we can get another one. Well boys, this is my flies. Which one do you think? I think of that one. That one? Yeah. Well, that's why it's already out, because we had to refilm this. <laughs> I think you're right, dude. No, I think this one. This is dude. sexy Lexi, <laughs> dude. This is sexy Lexi. Uh-huh. I like that. I think I've tied this on a previous episode. Ooh, that's good. Let's put it on. Put it on. Take it off. on the fly. Fish on the fly, everybody. I got one on the fly rod right now. I got a fish on the fly rod. Yeah! Oh boy. Yeah, baby. It's not done. He ain't done. 
He ain't damn son. He wants to go for another jump. Oh man. On sexy Lexi, man. Okay, here we go. Oh, the button nose hand is in the net. Oh, oh that's so cool. Boys, <laughs> got him on the swang, the low hanging dangle, the swang dangle. Just take a look at her. Oh, calm down, honey. There's one thing you can do with these nets, guys. When you got a fish freaking out, you close it, you roll it up so she's tight in there, and boom, she's relaxed. Wow, look at that thing. Oh, what a blessing. What a blessing, boys. Incredible steely on the fly. Look at that fly in her mouth. Sexy Lexi did the job. Wow. That worked. It worked, guys. What do you boys think of that? How do you feel about getting outfished by the fly rod, Colt? Yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Exactly. He did give me the hole first, so thank you, boys. Thanks for making this happen. Thanks for letting it happen. Okay. Hook's coming out. Here she goes. Thanks, sweetie. Haha, <laughs> she made dreams come true. <laughs> Heck yeah, boys. Right there, Colt. That is one I'm not gonna soon forget. Oh, just a, the grab you've always wanted to. It was swinging across there, guys. Tight line, just swing in. Right over there. Whammy. Fish on. My first one of the day. Third one of the day for us. We're three for three. We haven't lost any. It's Colt's turn now. Right away again, Colt's on on the spoon. Swung one down below with the spoon. Whamsicle, he's on. That a boy. <laughs> That's my boy. It's a good one, he said. I think so. He said it's a good one. I don't know what that means. Oh, nice job, brother. Is he owning you? Who's walking who? That's the question, right, little? <laughs> okay, yeah, we just keep his head down low until he gets right to the net. Oh, it is a good one, dude. That's Cromer neck. He's Cromer neck. Yep, tip in the water. Come on, let's make this four for four. Four for four. Oh, that is a good fish. God, he's got shoulders on him. He's just got shoulders on him. Keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. We got him, we got him now. Ninja lift, ninja lift, ninja lift, ninja lift, ninja lift. That's it, that's it. Oh, he's, oh, he's behind you. Don't scoop, let, let, hit, let him just get him in there. Oh, God. This is the coolest looking buck ever too, dude. I know. Uh, he's got the coolest colors on him. Come on, baby. Yep, yep, yep. Wait, wait with the lift, wait with the lift. Wow, that's a good fish, brother. God, this is suspenseful. Let's all see the thumbs up in the comments for, for old Colt here. Here we go. It came off. <laughs> it was totally hidden fault, right? That was my fault. <laughs> Just kidding. That was a tough angle, you guys. It's okay, though. Damn it. We got a good look at him. We don't get the picture. He was leadered. We can count it. Dang it. What a suspenseful fight, though. That's so cool. I got one on the swing with the fly. Three seconds later, I didn't even have my rod back out. And Colt had one, and now he's in despair. How do you feel? That was a cool looking fish. Sick Had the most blushy. I'm gonna keep telling about how awesome that fish was. It's double stripes, blushed, almost no spots. Okay, back to it. Dang it, well we found some. One on the fly, one on the spoon. We worked up an appetite now, it's time to eat. Got a can of tuna from my canned albacore. We got a, a jar of Jose's salsa, ketchup mustard, a little bit of mayo while we're at it. Okay, so basically all we're doing, it's very simple. I'm gonna take my jar of albacore. Any canned tuna or canned salmon would work, even if you guys have to go buy it from the store. It's not as, as fun and, and uh, exciting as eating your own, but nevertheless, you can make some lunch. We're gonna go a sprinkle of the salsa right on top. Pretty good little helping actually like that. Add in my mayo. We tad bit of mustard. Weirdly enough, a little bit more ketchup. Kind of making a fry sauce or tartar if you will. And you know what? I'm feeling crazy today. I'm gonna use some of our Heinz 57 zesty sauce in there. Mmm, na 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 na. Na 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 na. Oh, this looks good. This looks good, everyone. Damn, that's a nice little tuna salad whipped up just like that. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. I think Lidman thinks this might be a good tasting thing, huh? What do you think? You sneaking in? 
Hold on, I'll give you a bite. What do you think? Pretty good? Is it a little approved? Okay, we're all mixed up. Got a good color to it. Cracker of choice today is a Triscuit, naturally. Sometimes the Triscuits can kind of overpower the flavor of your deal uh, or the fish. Kind of all you taste is the Triscuit at times, but today we're risking it for the Triscuit. <laughs> Okay, I'll just use the scissors. It'll be smart. All right, there's Triscuit. There's Dip. You can't buy that. It's got love in it. You can't buy that kind of flavor. Spot on. Lead me in. All right, boys, lunch is up. Ding, ding, ding. I almost forgot the most important thing sitting on the bottom of the cooler, the aged cheddar. I love an aged cheddar, extra sharp, if you will. It's kind of that crumbly, um, well, aged style of cheese. It has a really nice, creamy flavor. And the best part is it breaks apart nicely. So something like this, you can really just kind of chop it up like this, get it into big chunks, and then put it on your cracker. Cracker? Cracker. What do you think? That's good. That's good. Okay guys, so our big secret lure today is what we call a puff. This is a little lure that actually Hayden made. Uh, it's kind of cool, it's like a, a giant bead in a way, or a giant yarn ball, but it has just a piece of foam in it. Um, they, these are a really old school lure. I've used them a couple times, caught some fish, it's fun. We use them uh, in different places a lot of the time. A lot of people in Canada and a lot of people in uh, Alaska like to use these and they work. Oh my God, are you on? Oh my God, I thought Colt was on. Um, but it kind of brings up the light of drift fishing. And I think that's kind of a really fun thing to talk about. It's a tutorial we we're coming out with here soon, um, but I'll do a little quick little deal with what we're doing here. So, so what we're doing today, what both of Hayden's fish came off of is a Guide Select Pro 9.2 medium heavy 8 to 17 pound rod in the bait caster. This uh, Okuma reel is one of their new ones. It's the Hokuma Hakai. Super, super badass, 10 to one reel. Really, really smooth casting, such a light uh, setup like we are here. We got just a normal barrel swivel setup with a uh, dual lock on there and a Dave's Tangle Free half ouncer. A little bit of a leader down to my arrow puff. You can do this with anything. We you do this with drift fishing beads. You can do it drift fishing bait. You can do it with these yarn balls. You can use spin glows. Tons of stuff you can drift fish with, but let's show you how to do it. Okay, so I'm gonna stick you guys in here. Don't have my chest here today, but the idea of drift fishing is to get your stuff down on the bottom, obviously. And you fish it a lot slower than the current. So I always cast about 45 degrees upriver. I keep my rod tip at a 45 degree angle above. A lot of 45s here. And I'm slowly going to follow my line. You see how this has gone by me and I pointed my rod tip with it down river the whole time. That's the most key thing about drift fishing. You want a sensitive rod like he has here, this 8 to 17 pound, uh, and not super long. This is only, only 9 foot 3 long, which is really perfect because you can get a good amount of line off the water so you can get a good drift. But also, you can keep up with that setup. You can feel your lead touching the bottom, and that's the most important part is being able to feel that sensitivity because one, you're gonna be going over boulders, you're gonna be hitting rocks, and you wanna make sure that you can feel those as you're doing that so you can adjust the tension on your line. But I'm fishing 45 to 45. I'm casting up river at 45, it's hitting the bottom right about here. I'm making sure to kind of lead my line down river and I'm just walking it. You guys can see that tip moving. At times I'll even open up my bale and give it some line so that that thing continues to fish on down and through. And it's, that's a really, really simple way to uh, figure out how to actually, yeah, there you go, nice and slow. Make sure to stop on your back, lay it down and then go forward. But kind of a crash course to drift fishing, you guys. You saw it worked really good for Hayden today out of the boat. It worked really good from the bank too. Our days kind of changed where we still wanted to spend a little bit more time. We've been getting out of the boat and uh, stopping and fishing all these holes, all three of us, so we can cover them good before the day's over. But it's been a killer experience so far. Perfect day with my little buddies. Hayden's first fish drift fishing on camera. You gotta love it. I love the first memories. It's so cool when we get the opportunity to uh, live some of our first memories with you guys here on Addicted and enjoy fishing and, and enjoying this beautiful life that we live all together. So. Keep our fingers crossed, Colt is still in the running. He needs a fish, he's a little heartbroken up there, but his belly's full, our hearts are full. Killer day. That a boy, oh it's a big one. Is he gone? Yeah, he's gone. God, you suck. Dude, that was so close to the bank. That thing blew up. Colt is cursed. 
That was a big fish. I don't know if you guys heard that splash. The fish smashed his spoon again, like 15 feet from the bank, basically right at where I was just waded through. <sighs> Witching hours upon us. Can Colt get it done? That is the question. Ring the alarm. Sun is shining. Oh. Yes. yes. Oh, no, no. No. Just the writ that you follow. He's just following his writs. Like my cousin Vinny always said. Just follow your writs. You ever get one on a swung uh, jig? Uh, no, I have not. But I have... Fish! 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 He's got fish! <laughs> yeah, we're coming, brother! We're coming! Oh, he's way down here! He's got fish! Okay, Aiden's got one. Aiden's got one. I got a real and fast Colt's on his way. Last moment fish. Not the easiest terrain to run around in. Aiden's up by the boat. Yeah. Colt could not resist fishing this tail out. And it paid off. Aiden's sitting up top. Got the fish that he just missed. Ooh, little likes it. Right? Little likes it. It didn't sound huge when it jumped, but what do I know? All I care is, same with you guys, is that it's a steelhead. Oh, oh God, almost killed him. He nearly killed him. That's a big fish. That's a good one. Whew. Talk about the witching hour fish. It's almost dark. You hunt the shades off. Oh, he's getting ripped up. This might be his big fish, you guys. On a bead, tense moment. Tense moment on a bead. Well, as we all know, beads are hard to keep fish on, 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 on. They're just straight. On, on, on. He likes to run into this, right? Oh, we'll turn your rod tip this way. It might, I don't know though. Ooh, that sometimes will make you lose them. Sometimes. Yeah, turn them this way. Yeah, get them in on this bank. Exactly, turn him. Go his rod tip over here in the soft water. Here we go, we got him. We already got one out of the wood today. What are you scared of? Here, let's switch. Let's switch. I want to show you guys what I'm talking about. You can't, you got to be at least a rod length away from each other when you use this net. Like at least, at least you hit the rods 10 and a half feet long, you need to be at least like 10 feet away. And I'm going to keep it on the surface. Watch. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep towing him. Keep towing him. As soon as the bobber hits, go straight up in the air and point your rod tip right at my head. Yep, just like that. Like that. <laughs> Nice freaking fish! Yeah. Oh, brother! Yes! Holy cripes, hardly can even see outside still. Dude, talk about a last caster. How do you feel about that, Colt? Me? <laughs> wow, dude. Me? Wow, nice fish. <laughs> Here, grab his rod real quick. Let's get this before we lose light. Freaking down to the wire addicts. This is being addicted right here. This is Hayden, floating all day. We still have to go pull the raft out clean up for the night and guess what we stayed out here until the very end for this bad boy wow dude nice job wow look at this fish just look at it what a blessing man there's nothing like getting one on the last cast okay Let's see if we can get the photo there's enough light back towards you a little bit there you go right there perfect we did it everybody let's get her unhooked Freaking number four advantage bead hook. Size two. Size two, okay. You can see that fish has already been hooked before. Maybe today has that little sore piece in his, in his mouth. That was the spoon fish, I think. Oh my God, it's true. It is, it's very, very fresh. It has to be the same one that he lost. Ooh. <laughs> All right, brother, let's warm up those hands. Beautiful fish. Thank one last you. look at perfection. Look at that chomp mark from the freaking sea lions. Bye bye, honey. Way to go, team. Sorry, Colt. Whatever. Today I wasn't said. your day. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. And we'll see you guys next time. This is where we end our day. Time to go warm up by the fire, eat some soup. Have a nice evening. Thank you all so much for joining us on this adventure. And until next time, you all stay fishy. We'll see you out there.